What a day, huh? All right, hit the bricks, pal. Looks like rain. What do you want? I'm, I'm looking for Dr. Schooner. 2-H. It's been bothering me for a while now. I spent a lot of time and energy on it. Something that's very important to me. I want to find out who my real stepfather is. My natural parents won't tell me where he is, but I'd really like to find him. I just have this curious need that I have to satisfy. But I do have a great relationship with my real father. In fact, I saw him last weekend. We went to a parade together. It was just like old times. Now, what are you thinking about? You know when you pull up a Venetian blind, you know, you pull a string down, the blind comes up, then you pull a string over like this, and it... So this blind stays right there, you know, the string kind of hooks on, you know? How does that do that? Dennis, I'm not here to give you the answers. I'm here to help you find the answers that are inside you. Must be some kind of clamp or something. I see. Now, what about your father? My main fear is I just don't really trust anyone. I don't think anyone presents themselves to me the way that they really are. You know, I know it sounds paranoid, but I just can't help it. I remember when I was in the womb. I was over on the right. Okay, we'll carry on with this next week. between rival factions the German along the Israeli-Syrian border. Queen of the skies, the seen here from a universal newsreel camera plane as it sped over New York. Now lies the same air station that Israeli jets are reported to have made it back. Shortly after this picture was taken, joined the break. 49 year old the person of the plane was near the big tail pins turned to ship into a flaming inferno. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on animals is expected to be law today. Animal rights activists have been pushing for the bill for nine years and have taken part in mass demonstrations to the nation. It's a special bill to light line just what animals do. Come here and take a look at this. Fighting broke. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'd never actually seen that before, but Dennis isn't from around here, and I'm used to it now. But why would anyone sleep with a parachute on? Look, Dennis had an awfully hard time talking about that. It's such a personal thing. He even had a hard time telling his psychiatrist, so I'd really appreciate it if you only told Judy and Steve about it and nobody else, except maybe Kathy and Sue. But that's it, because Dennis is just so paranoid about people talking about him behind his back. Hi, Emma. Oh, hi, Dennis. Did you turn the stove off this morning? Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I must have, because I was... Uh... What about the door? Did you lock the door? Yeah, I think I... I think I definitely did. Definitely. What's I... the soup of the day? Well, this is a leap year, so all the soups are off by one day. I don't know what it is today, but tomorrow it's Yankee bean. Dennis, did you feed the fish? Oh, no. So, the last time you were here, we were discussing your career as a circus geek. Huh? Circus? I've never even been to the circus. Oh, yes, of course. So, how are you feeling today? Do you mean me personally? Well, I'm still dealing with my old problem of being such a shy person. Hello? 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 Do you think I'm crazy? No. No, I don't. You don't? What are you thinking about now? I'm thinking about when I'm driving. I don't like the idea of other cars being behind me. I don't even know who these people are. Well, my girlfriend thinks I'm paranoid sometimes, but I don't know why. Maybe it's because I just don't trust her. But she's such a nice person. She's smart, she's funny, she's pretty. Well, I don't know if she's pretty or if she just looks pretty. No, 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 she's pretty. She's definitely pretty. She's beautiful. She's the most beautiful girl in all the land. Oh. Phil. Hi, Dennis. It's Emma. I'll be home later. Call me. Dennis, this is Linda Thompson calling from the adoption agency. When are you coming by to pick up that child you adopted? This is Mrs. Wilson, your third grade history teacher. I suppose you think I'd forgotten the that book report on the Indians. Hello, Dennis. This is Herb. I'm afraid I can't make it for our next appointment. However, I have arranged a substitute, so I think you should still go to the session, okay? 
When I was little, in our backyard, we had a mood swing set. My father would stand over here, my mother would stand over here, and they'd push me back and forth. And when I got over here, I had to be laughing. When I got over here, I had to be crying. And they'd push me faster and faster. They'd push me back and forth, laughing and crying, laughing and crying, laughing and crying. Today, we can expect up to an inch of snow and a high of only 30. Overnight flurries will increase with total accumulations of 3 inches. Tonight's low near 15. Scattered snow squall activity tomorrow with a high of 34. With a wind out of the... You haven't seen the charts. You have not seen the cash flow on the charts. It goes under the table. You're wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. I am telling you, Jerry is going to stay bullish on this Zedcon thing until it starts coughing up blood. As far as I'm concerned, you can write this down. Pride and money do not mix. The guy's wrong. He's wrong. Who's to say he's wrong? Remember the time when he hung in on those wheat futures and the whole thing turned around? I hate to break this to you. The only place Zedcom is going is down the toilet. I only hope he can cover his margin. Yeah, course, we're ready to order now. He can cover his margin. He's never any problem in that. He's got, he's got cash flow for You haven't days? seen the charts. No, you no, are no, talking. You don't know flow. what you're talking about. Oh, you guys, wrong. come on. You've been really telling me this wrong. for days. Ever since I was a small child, I've realized that I've been under surveillance. But I could never tell anyone about that except for you. Just like I could never tell anyone about that thing I have about wearing diapers. Okay. I don't think that draw will be sticking anymore. Take it easy, pal. Yes, gone. Did you know he was there? Oh, yes. Now, let's get back to your childhood. My father was a song and dance man. He did a lot of tap dancing in vaudeville. And then he went to a life of crime. One time he robbed a bank. I also made an attempt at thievery. All right, nobody moves, nobody gets hurt. Let's go, move. Open that baby up. Well, I don't think you'd be capable of that kind of thing anymore. How do I know you're not just saying that because it's true? Oh. Ask me about my mother. Perhaps I just don't want to know about her! I'm sorry, I... <coughs> I just think that we should concentrate on one subject at a time. You were telling me about a dream you had. Yes, I, I keep having this reoccurring dream that I'm captain of a ship in a bottle. But I like it, though. It gives me such a sense of power. Sometimes it starts raining in the bottle. How would it rain in a bottle? I don't understand. Yes, go on. I wonder who invented boats. How did they think of that? Look, Denis, really, I don't think... I'm always losing things. Yesterday, I must have spent two hours looking for my... I was looking for two hours. I lost. I spent two hours looking for my. for my. I was 
looking for my car. I eventually found it was right where I left it. It's weird, because on one hand, I can lose things like that, on, but then on the other hand, I can be so exact. Like whenever I drink, I drink out of a measuring cup, so I know exactly how much I'm drinking. But things are going a lot better between me and Emma. Last night we went skydiving together. No arguments. I can't wait to see her again. Tonight I'm pretty sure that we're, uh, that we're gonna, uh, you know. Sorry, Dennis, we're out of time for today. Here. This is for you. That's this month's bill. Wow, this is a lot of money. I'll see you next time, Dennis. in this light. This pizza's too hot. I, I think we should send it back. Oh, Dennis, I had an awful day today and you didn't even ask me about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What happened? Well, I was at the office and I had a cup of coffee and I had to make a phone call. And when I got off the phone, the coffee was cold. And Louise brought in another cup, and it was cold. So she went to make an, uh, another fresh pot, and all the filters were gone, and no one knew where they went. And then later, they turned up. Wow. Whew. So what did you do today? Well, I spent the afternoon trying to daydream, but my mind kept wandering. I meant, how was work? I only worked half a day because... I went to see Dr. Schooner. Oh, honey, that's good. Did you talk to him about committing suicide? No, I still haven't finished the letter yet. I'm thinking about asking him to adopt me, though. That way, when I talk about my parents, I can talk to him directly. Maybe cut out the middleman. Save some money. Well, I hope he doesn't let you down. Well, sweetie, I gotta go. I've got a long day tomorrow. Dinner was wonderful. Very romantic. Well, I know how much you like fire. Mm, by the way. No. Great. I've never seen anything like it. What is this, a tie? They were on sale, dirt cheap. Bye, Dennis. Bye, sweet sparrow legs. cleaning lady when you were sick. Come on, you tell it best. <laughs> hey, sir, this looks just like him.
the scene of the crime. The latest in a series of restaurant-related murders took place this evening outside a small French bistro on a quiet Greenwich Village street. Hi, this is Emma. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and number after the beep, I'll be sure to return your call. With the recent rash of murders outside area restaurants and the subsequent increase in business because of the notoriety, Police refused to discount the possibility that the killer might have been contracted by the establishment itself. That's all from here at the scene of the crime right now, John. So it's back to you. Hello there. Um... Dennis, I'm Dr. Wilson. So, why don't we start from the beginning? Thank <laughs> you. 